Hello, Aries. Today we're going to talk about love and understanding how the Venus in Pisces transit, which goes from January 12th through February 7th, so we're already in this energy, um, but how that is going to be affecting your sign. This will be for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So definitely do go check out also the other placements in your chart, the videos for those, because often they can resonate even more than your sun sign. And um, this is essentially a part two to a much more in-depth video I've done on how that transit will um, be affecting the collective. Now, Venus, the planet of love moving in through the sign of Pisces is all about um, romance. It's where Venus feels the most comfortable and where we can be feeling very, very much um, in love, in love with love, and all of that. So I definitely recommend checking that out. I will link it down below. Um, but this is going to be looking at how this will be affecting, this transit will be affecting the sign of Aries. So we're going to start here with an overall energy. Oh my, and we're getting soulmates. Look at that. <laughs> um, starting off with a bang here, Aries, like you often do. But... To me, this is about soulmates coming together that have absolutely transformed. And by coming together, they're sharing their love and they're spreading the love out into the universe. Um, both of these butterflies have come out of their chrysalis. They're holding their hands and all the love and the stars are flying out from that touch point. So we have a beautiful message to start this out with here, Aries. So... Let's um, keep going and see what else this transit may may mean for you, but already. Um, so this can be an, a new soulmate coming in. This can be an existing soulmate that you guys have gone through a major transformation after a very difficult time. So let's get another card here on what's happening here. And love endures. Wow. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. So again, it's a message of whatever you've endured when it comes to love, whether it is having recently ended something, and a lot of partnerships have been ending here recently in the collective, uh, because the universe is really aligning us at this time um, towards what true love really means and how we're meant to express that. So... This to me is about you having the resolve, Aries, to connect with a loved one, a true soulmate that has gone through a lot of transformation, as have you. And if you're if you're in a situation where this is, um, you know, having endured a situation where both of you have really done your work and you're merging out, absolutely beautiful. Let's get another card here. And we're getting spend some quality time together. Okay. Well, here we go. Um, definitely could be spending time with your person during this transit. This is about making sure that you're really listening and talking with each other. Making sure that you're making this a priority in your world and not just another to do on the list. This is about being present. This is about allowing... Um, each other to feel seen and heard and respected so let's actually get another few cards here and see what's coming in what could be coming through this transit here we're getting the seven of orbs that's the seven of swords so this is about somebody lightening their load there could be some communication during this transit where somebody comes clean possibly with whatever they need to come clean with. Um, this is also potentially about being aware of um, I just feel like this energy of letting go of burdens. I, it's not typically the meaning of the Seven of Swords, but that's the energy that I'm feeling here. So let's get some more cards and see and we're getting the Eight of Cups. Okay. So some of you may have recently walked away from a situation, a relationship that you were that has run its course. It may have had some deceit and and 
within it. Something wasn't quite right. Something wasn't quite adding up. Um, and for some of you, Aries, this may be you maybe wanting to connect with a soulmate that maybe you walked away from in the past because maybe you were deceiving yourself about your connection regarding them or that maybe you were trying to, uh, you know, you weren't necessarily being completely upfront and open. Let's get another card and see what else hap is uh, meant to come through here. And we have the Ace of Orbs, but see, now you're ready to come clean and, and communicate clearly. So um, you might be communicating, Aries, that you've walked away from a, another situation um, that has run its course because you're wanting the true love of the Ten of Cups. The Eight of Cups can sometimes just mean you're walking towards emotional fulfillment. But this does indicate somebody walking away. They're in a desert here. So this is like they're leaving something that has just lost any bit of life left in it. And they're ready to go and find water, find love. And so you might be or someone around you may be coming clean with some truthful communication. This is a new beginning that's being offered here. A truthful new beginning. It can sometimes also indicate victory. So let's get another we have the Sage of Crystals. So that's the Queen of Pentacles. Energy. So that's, that's really kindness and understanding. So there could be somebody, Aries, if you, again, this can be flip-flopped. Um, and some of these messages can kind of merge together and meld together in terms of the people involved, right? But there's somebody here that's going to, it feels like very kind, very understanding. You know, they're wise. They understand the ways of the world and they also have higher consciousness. And it's almost like they can see past whatever has happened, understanding um, the wisdom behind why possibly whatever happened needed to happen. And we're getting the three of flames. Wow. So this brand new start and communication, this can be a confession of some kind coming in. Um, but it's something that you've been waiting for or someone else has been waiting for. So maybe it's if you're making this communication, it's something that somebody has been waiting for. And it's like they're she's looking in this direction, this sage of crystals. So to me, this feels like she's almost been waiting for this and been ready for this. But she's been kind and understanding about whatever has happened. And it is almost like this energy of you might be looking towards the future here. Um, so let's get a couple. Let's get some more here with this energy. Let's get a little bit more to the story here. So whatever it is, there is a new beginning um, here, an, a new, a refresh, a restart, or a new beginning. Um, talking about the seven of orbs, you and your loved ones are safe. Yeah, there may have been something that you were telling yourself, Aries, around what the concept of like family or home means and maybe you were going along with the crowd and it's interesting because one of the meanings of the seven of swords is breaking free of other people's expectations of you and when we're getting you and your loved ones are safe this is a new cycle of what me what it means to be what what home and family really means to you so for some of you um again it could be that this is where you're seeing the truth about where you want to go and that it's going to be whatever you want, not what other people want for you. And the eight of cups, here's the new moon in Pisces. So I don't know the exact date of the new moon in Pisces. I believe it might be right when right around the, cause I know the full moon, sorry, no, no, the new moon in Pisces is coming after this, but this is the dreamy romantic energy. So Aries, you could just be feeling like, you know what? I'm going to go for what my, who my true soulmate is. I'm going to go for that ultimate emotional fulfillment. 
And if you're not living it right now, this, uh, this transit could bring you into where you're like, I'm no, I want this. Like you might've rationalized to yourself that you were happy where you are in your world, in your life, in your relationship. But when it comes down to this, when you're under this influence of Venus and Pisces energy, it's like, oh no, like I want that. Why is it like, why can't I have that? And the answer is you can. And you've now, it looks like you could be making the steps to go make that happen. And don't let pride get in your way. Okay, so whoever's communicating here and maybe fessing up to whatever happened in the past is not going to let pride stop them. So clearly there's an energy of something that there could be shame or embarrassment about. Um, that is, but in this communication and this truthful communication, it is, it does feel like there's something that was not quite above board in the past that is now needing to be cleared up. I'm getting the message also clear the air. And the Sage of Crystals is getting the nothing will come of this situation. So what this is telling me, and this is such a fascinating card every time it comes out, this is also about like, there's nothing to worry about. Um, or that there's, that nothing will come of it. So it's almost like, I feel like there could be a crossroads here for Aries where somebody's communicating something that they've needed to communicate. And it's going to go one of two, one of two directions. It's either going to come together in a very beautiful way, or it's going to end and you're going to be looking towards the future. But let's actually get a card here on the three of flames. Nothing's yet set in stone. See, that's a card about being flexible and adaptable. And so whatever communication comes in um, here, it feels like this new beginning. It, there is an energy about looking towards a future, but things not being completely certain. So you, it feels like there's a beginning and a start that could happen during this time frame um, that will get the ball rolling, but it may not be the end of the conversation. So, um, there's progress, there's new starts, there's opportunities here, Aries, but I'm going to wrap up with a final message for you for this transit. I'll pull a guidance card for Aries for this trans, this romance, um, reading, love reading here for the sign of Aries. What's your best guidance? Oh my gosh, we're getting magic. It's, I love this card. Make a wish, believe in miracles, magic surrounds you. What a beautiful message. All right, lovely Aries, do go check out the Venus and uh, Pisces um, longer video that I did here, oh, and also the other videos that make up your chart. And until next time, I send you much love. Bye.